Hi, it's Alex from Tutoring Heroes again, and today we're going to look at some maths together. Let's go and take a look and see what we're doing. So we're going to be looking at ordering fractions. If we look at our checklist, it says if the numerators, so that's the top numbers, are different, the smaller the numerator, the smaller the fraction. So if I do this first line here, all my bottom numbers are the same, but my numerators are different. So it said if it's smaller, then it will be smaller. So 3 over 21 will be the first one, it's the smallest. Then it will be 4 over 21, then 6 over 21. And the largest will be 28 over 21, which is actually an improper fraction. So numerators is quite easy to do. It says if the denominators are different, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction. So I have all my denominators different in this line here. So I now need to think about what are the denominators saying, because my numerators is all exactly the same. So it says if the denominators are different, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction. So this is a really, really big one here. So I'm gonna put that one at the start. 4 over 92. Next would be 4 over 36, then it would be 4 over 12, and the biggest number is actually going to be 4 over 5, even though it looks like it's smaller with the smaller numbers. The last thing we're going to look at today is if both of the numerators and denominators are different, we're going to have to find the lowest common multiple and then create equivalent fractions before we can order them. So I've got just three fractions for us to try and order now. We've got 36 over 40, 2 over 4, and 1 over 5. So I have to find the lowest common multiple. Now the lowest common multiple is going to be 40. So I have to think, well, what did I have to multiply this bottom number, the denominator, by to get to 40? So 4 times 10 is 40. So if I multiply the top number, 2 times 10 equals 20. So this is the equivalent fraction, 20 over 40. So I'll circle them so we can see clearly which ones we're going to have to work out. If I do the same for a fifth, I multiply the denominator by 8 to get that same denominator, 40. So 1 times by 8 equals 8. So this is my equivalent fraction here. So I now have three numbers to order, and it says the numerators are different. So the order is gonna be eight over 40 is the smallest, 20 over 40 is the next, and 36 over 40 is the last one. So if you're looking at these fractions from the beginning, it's gonna be one fifth, then it's going to be two quarters, and the last one is going to be 36 over 40. I hope that helps a little bit with trying to order your fractions. If that was a little bit confusing, go back and have a look at our equivalent fractions video. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.